Hey everybody, Scott from Get Some Adventure and Training here again. Um, today I'm, I'm going to do a little section on hiking shoes. Now, I've got about 15 different pairs of, of shoes that I wear when I hike, um, whether it be light trail hiking uh, to, some, to some severe carrying 50 pound pack doing a ridgeline hike that takes you three or four days. Um, I've kind of broke it down into three different shoes, uh, which I'll highlight all, all three of them here, and kind of, kind of a light, moderate, and severe we'll call them. Um, for the light section, I've got these Keens, and they're more or less, you can see how, how flexible they are. And in a hiking boot, you really don't want that much flex. This to me is more of a light trail, maybe like a dirt pack trail, um, something that's going to be light on the feet. If you get into really rocky terrain with these, uh, which I experienced, I, I gave them a try, uh, the bottoms of my feet and my feet just in general started to hurt. Uh, just because, what, number one, they don't offer quite as much support, and uh, there's not quite as much sole, they're not as stiff. Uh, but really, really good shoe if you're just going for a walk, uh, maybe a desert walk on, on you know, flatter terrain um, with, with very little rocky terrain. Um, the second one being the La Sportiva GTXs. This one you can see a little, little stiffer. Um, I've had these for, for eh, quite a while now, and I don't wear them all that often, but they've got probably 400 to 500 miles on them. And you can, they, they definitely show wear. These are the original laces. They're pretty worn out. This is going to be a great, really light pack. If you're carrying like a, um, for example, if you just want to carry a Camelback and maybe a couple Cliff Bars with you in a backpack, um, not a lot of weight on you, not a lot of weight putting down on the shoe because again, the soles on these aren't very thick. Um, they do they do provide a lot more support than the Keens. Um, so this is this is what I would classify as like a mid-level hiking. Uh, you can do day hikes in these, and you know you can be up on the mountain four, five, six hours without your feet, you know, completely done. And if you're going to go on a good 10 to 15 mile hike, I would not recommend a, a shoe like this just because it doesn't provide quite as much support. Um, which brings me to the last one, which you can check out another video that I've done um, on a secondary. These have about 650 miles on them now. Uh, this is a Trango, um, these are the Trango Cube GTXs. Much, much stiffer. Um, you know, you, they don't really have much flex at all, uh, which plays into you know, these other ones, you're going to be util utilizing your calf muscles a lot, which is a very small muscle group on your leg. Um, your, your legs are built, you know, from the top down. Um, your, your glutes, your quads, and your hams are really the, what you want to be using when you're going on a long, long extended hike. Uh, this boot will give you all the support you need. You can carry 45, 50 pound pack, no problem. Um, and you're not going to have any issue and your feet aren't going to really get sore. Uh, because the boot is meant for a long distance hike. Uh, they're meant to carry weight. Uh, it's just a much, much stiffer boot. Um, so again, just to kind of recap, light, moderate, severe style hiking. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. If there's another product that you want to review or anything that you want information on, go ahead and leave it in the comments as well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the trail.